Hello, welcome back. I'm Iman. And I'm I. Today, we will both talk about wildfires. Mm -hmm. And then, I will say one joke and Iman will say one joke. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes. So, let's begin. So before we start, sorry. So, actually, sorry, I'll tell you later. So, basically, we're gonna both talk about wildfires, like we said a few seconds, a few seconds ago. So, basically, wildfires are basically fires that can happen in the wild. Non-houses, or in cars, because those are not called wildfires. They're called fires. So basically, let's talk about how wildfires start. So, how wildfires start is that maybe it could be in a forest or in or in a wild like a field, like an open field where animals come in. So basically, what basically um how wildfires start is that either it could be a really rainy day and there could be lightning. And usually skyscrapers are made so that lightning can maybe like maybe hit hit it or I don't know. But sometimes lightning in different places like let's say Australia, there they could it could hit maybe a tree. And not one tree can go on fire. Like maybe a whole forest could go on, on fire. Maybe a whole jungle could go on fire. So so basically, yeah. So now, I don't know if you got, if a lot of people heard this, but there was a wildfire in Australia. And there were many, many. So basically, it's like all around Australia and maybe a few fires in, like in, a, in Australia. And a lot of animals probably lost their homes. So that was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Wait, I have a question. So I heard that wildfires also start by like when it doesn't rain a lot. Is that true? Is that true? Now? Yeah. So basically, what I like is trying to say is that wildfires could start from when there was you no, know, like it was really hot in places. And maybe one day it starts to, it's just like, there's no rain, there's no coming. It's not going to help it grow. So then it's just going to be like, the sun hits, hits the hits the ground too much, either hits the trees too much. It's just going to say like, you know what, I'm just going to start a fire. So then the fire can go. And if, it's like, it could start as a small fire, like maybe the size of a whole mansion. Maybe that how big a fire could start as. But then, if people haven't heard about it and they can't, can't see it, it can go bigger and bigger. And fires can go really fast, especially in places where there's a lot of wood, a lot of, let's say, a lot of grass, maybe dry grass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, are you done talking? Mm -hmm. well, so I'll talk about the advantages of the fires and the disadvantages. So first I'll start the advantages. So for the advantages, there are only one. How? You probably expected that there'd be zero because wildfires are bad. You're right, they are bad, but disadvantage, you should be careful about trees. Advantage. Yeah, sorry, advantage. Mm -hmm. So the advantage is, so there's a bug I think it's called the wooden wooden kind of bugs. Yeah, a wooden type bugs like moths, beetles, some that like some like worms, right? They're slimy and they move a lot, right? Those type of bugs live in the trees and sometimes they carry diseases, bacteria. Bacteria, sorry. So they, they you know, the diseases go onto the trees and makes the trees that you know dry and it won't grow and it's not good for the trees so when the wildfires like happen it burns down the trees and the bugs you know they go away like oh no there's a fire coming we have to go away you oh know? they'll probably die yeah they probably die and then like i don't know 
35, 30 years later, the, the tree will grow and it's going to stay healthy because the bugs probably thought, oh no, the tree won't grow back in 30 years, or 35 years, and probably won't come then because mm -hmm. maybe passed away or maybe they can find the tree. So that's the advantage of, you know, tree and wildfire. Wildfires. And when I'm talking about trees, I also have this tree book, but it has nothing to do with wildfires. It's just telling you about trees. So just, you know, how to read that. So now, it's time. Are you done? No, I'm talking about oh, sorry. Sorry. It's fine. So this advantage is, is the trees can die and they might not go back. Why? Because trees have trunks, right? And sometimes the whole tree falls down. Even the trunk falls down. So the roots, they won't grow back because the roots are also cut apart and they won't grow because they're dead of the wildfires. That's true. Yeah. Also, I learned in my school that maybe sometimes, like how I was saying is that they, could, they couldn't grow, but sometimes there are seeds that the roots leave and it could grow that way. But most of the time it grows, but maybe, maybe it couldn't grow, right? Yeah, because it's dried, it's dead, turn into mm -hmm. dust. So I think there's yeah there's two advantages. So that's the I mean disadvantages. So that's one disadvantage. The other one is when wildfires like hit forest or jungle or a place that has trees and or grass. Or grass, grass, you know. Like Elon was saying, the the sorry mm -hmm. the animals they probably lost their homes. Maybe they lost a family member, which is really sad. Right? Can you imagine losing your family family member? It doesn't feel good, even though know, maybe you have had one, you know? And you know the animals, like, let's say kangaroos, they mostly live in dry places, right? So, and then you have to hop so far just to get away from the fire, and they lost their home. So you have to build their home again, or do whatever they do to have, to make their home. And it might take a really long time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to find water in a perfect place. Like your parents have to find a perfect place for them to live, right? They can't just live on dirt, right? They have to live in a house. So that's what I have to say about advantages and disadvantages about wildfires. So now time to go on jokes? Yes. Jokes. Jokes. So can I start? Sure. So, what does a tree say when you give it candy? What does it say? What a treat! You get a tree and a treat. <laughs> That's a funny um, joke about wildfires. Well, yeah. Trees. So mine is, what did the little tree say to the big trees? What did it say? It said, leave me alone. You know, because, you know what I mean. Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, just to let you know, um, we found these jokes online. We didn't make them up. Which is fine, right? Fine. But I didn't know the answer. Because I secretly searched it up. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't see the joke that I was going to do. And I probably didn't see yours. Anyway, that's all we have to say for today. We will see you next time. Subscribe to our channel. So you don't miss any of our amazing upcoming videos. And if you see a wildfire, you know what to do, right? And stay safe. Maybe you can just either call or anyone. Anyways, bye! bye.